welcome to the show. We are here today on BeamNG Drive, and we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. Uh, this is, well, the career mode. Yeah, there is actually, I mean, it's a heavily work in progress career mode, but there is a career mode now to the game. There's a little bit of me that is curious what happens. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, you know, oh, you don't want me to play with traffic. I wanted to find out what would happen. Damn you. Damn you, game. Ruining my fun. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take a look at the career mode. I'm going to try and see what this is What this is all about. Uh, I did a brief tutorial. I kind of wanted to go in it without knowing too much and sort of figure it out. So we're going to go and purchase a vehicle. Uh, right, so we have got... Uh, what have we got? 11,000. I'll use a mouse for this bit. 11,000 monies, whatever, beam bucks, sure, those ones. And we have three choices. We have a 200BX, we have an i-series, uh, mid-spec, are you all-wheel drive? You are, yeah, you are all-wheel drive. Uh, mid-spec, all-wheel drive, i-series, or a little covert. Um, now, these vehicles are going to be used for all sorts of different things. Uh, I'm going to go for, uh, let's go with the i-series. Let's go with the i-series. Um, yeah, we're just going to go for a purchase. You want to purchase this vehicle? Yes, yes, I do. And here it is. Look at this. It is my i-series. I mean, it's fairly glorious and everything. Uh, yep, it is my first vehicle. Uh, very cool. Now, how do I get out of this camera mode? There we go. Okay, just press B and you'll get there. Right. Uh, guess we've got to get it turned on, get it fired up. Now, uh, we are going to uh, stick with... We're going to stick with the orbital camera for this one. Uh, now, the goal is to, you know, complete missions, do jobs, earn money. Of course, you can customise your cars. Now, normally, I am used to in Beam, you just press Control w or whatever, and you can go and uh, modify them any way that you might see fit. But here, you have to be a little bit more... Uh, do I, Maybe I don't drive straight in. Maybe I actually have to park in that. Oh, oh no, don't damage the synchro on it. Uh, I'm going to break the gearbox because it's not going to repair in the way that uh, that it used to. I guess if we go here... Uh, oh, no, no, this is for a mission. Oh, we can do a mission. I was going to go for... Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, do this. Um, okay, so we can... Oh, God, oh, these are like timed missions. Oh, that's interesting. Um, okay. So it always like like the availability. So I guess it cycles around what it is. So we can't fit that stuff there in. Uh, we can't fit some of these in. But we could, for example, uh, carry some container. I don't know. Oh, oil filters, I guess. Uh, oh, okay, that's where it's going. Yeah. So we can carry some oil filters with us. Sure. Uh, in fact, actually, I could carry that and that because they're both going in the similar direction. So if we Set that as the route. Oh, no, get hand on controller. Don't go up that we're still in gears. Uh, right, so if we have that, we have quests. Now, by the looks of it, these are not particularly timed quests. Uh, these are, we are good to go about them however we want. We can try and drive, we can try and drive sensibly, or we can drive in the true fail race way, which is not sensibly at all. We can boot it, but of course, I've got to be careful because if I crash my speed, right? I bump a curb, I can bend a wheel. Hell, you can brush a railing and you can destroy your car. You can do a heavy amount of damage. Uh, so while I am not going to drive slowly, I mean, I guess you could use this as a... I was going to say like Euro Truck Simulator, but you kind of get the idea. You could sit here and try and follow all of the rules. I don't actually know if... I mean, there are potential for police cars. Are there, can the police get angry at me? Something I haven't thought about. Maybe I will have to be a little bit sensible at times. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, there's there's a very there's a very big risk versus reward kind of thing if you are going to go whizzing around in traffic. Certainly, because you know I make a tiny error, tiny error, and you know in true beam fashion, the car is going to be disintegrated, and then you're going to have to pay to fix it, have to pay to get it recovered, and all of that sort of horrible stuff. I don't think I've ever actually driven. Out to this island, come to think of it. Um, I've been on it a few times. We've filmed a few things, actually, out there. But I don't think I've ever gone across the bridge. Or I don't think I've ever gone over that way. Oh, uh, don't mind me. 
thank you 200BX. We are a terrible, terrible driver. However, we are a terrible driver in a hurry, uh, playing it a little bit safe. Are there any horrible curbs and bumps? Doesn't look like it. Looks like we can go, yeah, looks like this is fairly smooth uh, all the way down here. I mean, there's a little bit of traffic. So beams, uh, what should we call it? I say civilian traffic beams, uh, just, you know, general, uh, general vehicles. Uh, they're not terrible. They, they're on the most part behave themselves. Occasionally they can be a little unpredictable at times, but it's not normally anything too bad uh, when the sunburst wants to be in both lanes at uh, once. That's uh, fair enough. What side am I going? Well, okay, sunburst doesn't quite know where. It is. I mean, that's actually a fairly apt one. Uh, there, immediately I was doing a lot worse manoeuvring than the than the car ahead, as that. Uh, couldn't quite decide where I wanted to be. Uh, we've got a big line of cars. I am just going to go down here because I can. <laughs> it's, it's fine. I will pass all of you. So, as like as far as the career mode kind of stuff goes, this is the sort of thing that you can end up doing. You sort of start off with your, and I like, I like the sort of like slot system. So it's going to encourage you to have, you know, if you want to go into the whole transporting thing, it's going to encourage you to have a bigger car. It's going to encourage you to have. A pickup truck and a state car. I don't quite know what constitutes for the slots in it, but it might even it might even encourage you to go and buy a van or something like that, uh, which is interesting as a sort of mechanic. Oh, uh, right. So if I just I guess I'm going to park up here. Uh, right. Delivery complete. Unlock new delivery. Unlock more as we go along, basically. Uh, right. Oh God, I'm in reverse. I wasn't in drive. I thought I was in drive. Oh. Uh, did we ding the back of it? Nah, I think we actually, if anything, we dinged the other car more. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Nothing terrible. Nothing good. But, uh, yeah, we've, it's, it may, I don't know why I've gone the technical proper way around. I could have gone and taken a shortcut. I probably should have gone and taken a shortcut. Ah, there's no penalty for us doing that. So we're going to go for it. Don't really earn much money for these, though, to be honest. Uh, total, 29 bucks. I was kind of hoping that was a slight sort of typo, but I don't think it was, to be honest. So, okay, so you can do delivery missions. That is one of the things that you can do. Uh, now, what other stuff do we fancy doing? What are you? Um I feel like that's a good way to break your car, uh, doing that. I feel like we're going to go for a basic race. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, can I not fast travel? I thought I could fast travel. Oh, no. Uh... Maybe I have to, like, okay, can I fast travel the places I've already visited? Uh, okay, we can fast travel to some places. I guess we have to unlock them, uh, which is eh, fair enough, uh, I guess. I, I'm always more of a fan of, I like having fast travel. <laughs> the, the truth is, yeah, I do like having fast travel. Well, I do see the I see I see the purpose with this one here for being a little bit more restrictive because I guess the idea is you've got to be a smidge careful that you don't wreck your car, right? The whole point of it is uh, you've got to keep your vehicle alive. It's a difficult balance. It's a difficult balance in games between being able to teleport around. So, for example, like now, I want to go and do a race, etc. Um, it's sometimes a bit frustrating. It's not that it's not fun driving about. It's that the fun thing that I want to do is that I've got to then go and fart about for a little bit. Um, as long, I think as long as it has a way to be unlocking the fast travel points, it's not too bad. And there's also an element I've played Beam for so long and got so used to teleporting around whenever you want to go somewhere. I don't know whether the game actually lets you teleport, like, free camera and then F7 your way over there. It might... It might, it might just because it would be how the game was programmed, I guess. Uh, I mean, Beam is a, is, is a decent game to, to drive cars oh, in. There'll be a little gap there. Thank you very much. I'm going to be a little careful because I don't want to clatter into the sunburst. The whole, what have we got, giddy heights of 120-something horsepower. Uh, how fast can we get our I-Series to go? Uh, we'll, we'll use the bridge. The bridge will be our little speed run test. We'll see what the most basic of vehicles can do. And I mean, there's always man, there's always a risk of something going right. It's, it's quite slow, actually. It's not. It's not rapid. 
still barely got there. We, there's a 70. We've got 70 miles an hour. It's really struggles. <laughs> it's really not far. Again, I've probably played Beam too often with some crazy cars. It's now barely getting... It's, it's, I mean, I've been flat out the entire way across that bridge. Oh, hello. Oh, wow, our brakes are not great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't even going that fast. And I stamped on them because I wasn't sure where the sunburst was going. The fact that that cropped up with brake fades... That's alarming. I'm not sure... I am exactly cut out for this race. Um, that was not a particularly big stop. Again, so used to running uh, all sorts of crazy vehicles that an actual normal sort of bog-standard car... Wow, those, I mean, it, it still stops... That is still stopping, but there is definitely unhappy braking occurring. What on earth is this uh, event? What is it going to make of it? Now, I'm going to try driving into the petrol station. I don't know whether it's... I'm uh, not sure how it works. I think I need to fill up with fuel as well sometimes. Yes, you do need to fill up with fuel. Uh, so I've got more than enough fuel at the moment. That's no problem at all. Uh, you can see the actual fuel gauge. If, if you like your kind of... So as far as career mode, sorry, I got my sentence out. I, I was putting it together in my head. Uh, if you like your sort of, uh, sort of like GTA 5 roleplay kind of style of driving, you've got to refuel cars and all of that detail, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot of it in here, which is actually uh, very, very cool. Um, it might be a little bit... I think this is one of these. It's a little bit slow to start. But it will get it will get better and it'll get good as it goes along. Uh, right, let's see. Let's see. What does our vehicle? Difficulty very low. Okay. We can do this. Um now oh can we borrow a car? I was assuming you know what, we're gonna we're gonna use our vehicle. We want to use our vehicle. Um for this one. How many races can it have? I mean I'm, we're gonna whack it up. Okay, five is the maximum. We're gonna use our own car for this. Uh, so I guess it's supposed to be maybe like a one mate race, but I'm gonna, we're going to use the i series. I feel like we've got to at this point. We've got to see what the i series can do. Slightly worried if the brakes melt. Uh, don't know how many laps this might be. Uh, we will see. Win the race in under one minute and five seconds. It's not a particularly long race. Here we go. Uh, come on, i series. You should be able to do this. Maybe. Fingers crossed. We can't get beaten by a bunch of covets, can we? That would just be disappointing. AI. Whoa! Don't know what way you were going. Oh, okay. Little ding. Again, minor dings. We can live with it. I've not got the speed going up the hill here. Uh, right. We're going to get a couple on the exit, maybe. No, nope, they're battling. They're trading paint. Uh, I'm going to have to go for it. I say consequences be damned a little bit here. Uh, if we bump a curb or if we bottom it out slightly. That's not ideal. Uh, we can go around. Oh! Well, we have been brutally murdered. Uh, not brutally murdered, but we've been bumped and the door's pinged! You've bent the door, you asshole! Uh, come on. We, we're in a drag race against the grey covert. Please let the checkpoint be over this side as well. Okay, it is. Uh, we snuck it. We snuck it around the outside. They saw fit to damage my car, the assholes. And we are across the line, and we did it in sub one minute and five. Thank you. I'm glad that didn't go and run itself into the wall. Hey, and we got... We did win the race in under one minute five. We should have got at least... Did we get it all to the stars? I think, actually, I think it did. I think I thought the, like, filled-in star over there was what was needed, but that's not quite what it is. Um, fantastic. There we go. So now we got 1,300 monies, some XP, some racing XP, because the the XP, the levelling up uh, that you do is... There we go. You can kind of see over here, as, as you as you get XP, as you sort of level up, uh, it is based on what sort of mission you are doing. So if you go and do motorsport, you'll level up that one. The labourer, that was just the general uh, carrying things around. Um, you will complete that. Now, did it... So yeah, as you can see, it doesn't fix up my car. I didn't think it did. Um, so that damage I've now got on my car going forward. And I don't think it's going to go. Well, it doesn't go until I go and fix it. Which means I'm going to have to spend money. So you may well have to balance uh, between... Um, 
I say spending your money or, or well fixing your car up at times. Um, you know, if you can't if you can't afford it, if you just you know just bought a brand brand new car, spent all your money, and then you have to run around with a damaged car, it would be a problem, really. Uh, that one. Oh, hello, don't mind me. I'm just sneaking around this way. Uh, okay, over here. I guess I could have gone through the interior bit. Right now, how do I get you? I would like to upgrade my car here. There is a way to do it. I swear there was a little box that comes up when I want it to. Oh, do I have to go in there? Might have to go in there, actually. Because, of course, I always forget this is a thing that you can do. Is you can get out and you can wander around. Uh, excuse me. Does There we go. Do we have to go play on this? Um, <laughs> uh, right. So... Uh, we only have this one here, of course. Purchase parts. We can go and customize the car. Uh, right, all parts. I actually don't. I, do we have to replace the door? Perhaps. Slightly. I'm slightly curious. I haven't. I did the sort of like customizing of a car. I haven't actually. Oh, maybe just driving in here fixes it up. Oh, okay, maybe it does. I thought it required. I thought I had to like do something. It would be kind of fun actually to go like really hardcore. So this is a very much a work in progress. It would be interesting to see a um, really hardcore one, potentially, in the future. Um, okay, so we have got a chin spoiler on this. Can we get... I mean, I feel like... I feel like, actually, maybe the, the brake pads might not be a terrible idea. So they've got basic rear brake pads. I'm thinking sport brake pads. Probably not a bad idea. We're already seeing the brakes starting to fade. Uh, and then we should probably get some front brake pads. You know, we're doing things properly here. We're doing things properly. Uh, front brake pads. Uh, let's put some sport ones. I, we're not going quick enough to be be that worried um, about them. Now, the other fun thing as well I do like about this, the, the sort of the prospects from this, is let's say uh, I want to go for an intake. Let's say I want to go and put a turbo on my car, for example. Now, I can go and whack this on and spend all of my money on a turbo, but my car's going to overheat if I'm not careful. So you've got to build your car in a sensible way. When you're messing about with um, uh, free roam, when you're just, you know, just, just farting about with that, um, you have a lot of options. But here you've got to contemplate how your various options are, are going. So we could have a, I don't know what a wide exhaust is. Let's put a race exhaust on it. Stuff it. Yes. I want a race exhaust on my car. And I wanted a wing, and I don't know where that comes under. What that comes under. Uh, is there a wing? Uh, no. A window spoiler? Eh, uh, nah. Not particularly fast. Um, I guess I might just come under spoiler? Uh, it does have a... Aha, here we go. I mean, okay, we can't really afford the big expensive ones. The, the normal spoiler. Hey, okay. So, we spend most of our money on the parts. Uh, not a hundred. Oh, you think you're just the same computer, aren't you? Um, ah, right. Okay, this is how we do it. Um, oh, God. We've got... I have not seen this screen before. Okay, it's, there's so much to it. So you actually got insurance policy on your vehicles as well, which is very, very cool. Uh, we can paint our car orange, paint two. Uh, what bits are being painted black there? I don't know. I mean, it's a fair racy colour. Not 100% sure what's being painted. Yes, sure, apply. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, the detail in this is astonishing. Um, the detail in this is really, really cool, which I am... Um, yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with. And we can go into the tuning as well, uh, which is cool. So if you want to go and, you know, set your car up however you fancy, you can do that. Uh, you've got all of all of this, uh, which is very neat indeed. So our car is now modified a little bit. Uh, we will go and jump into it. Now we sound cool. <laughs> it's a lot of speed. It's a lot of noise, sorry, for not a lot of speed. I mean, look, we've done the typical boy racer thing of the very first thing that we could upgrade was uh, the... 
ooh, what's this? I'm going over there. Um, the very first thing that I could upgrade was... Uh, well, I did the brakes first, actually, which is slightly less boy racery. Uh, and then I immediately made it loud. But it is, I think, a little quicker. And the brakes at least haven't melted instantly. Although it shouldn't have melted that quickly anyway. Right. So, let's go and have a look uh, at what this is. So, we can uh, have a go. I guess we are we are going to stop the driver. Uh, we escape from your house while a few police units chase you. Oh, we could try and evade. Shall we use our vehicle? Traffic enabled? Yes. Fruit markers enabled? Sure. Um... Best to give it a go. So you can... So these these missions... In fact, some of the AI races I did a little while ago actually work with career mode as well. So these can... These can just be defaulted and use the game's vehicle. I think it's fun to try and use my own vehicle. Uh, I've never... I've never gone crazy into this. Uh, evade the police and remain undamaged. Um, that's the goal. Win without getting stopped near the police at all. Get a perfect escape. Okay. Right, I-Series, use all that noise. They are faster than me. They are definitely faster than me. Right, if I go over here... Oh, you... Uh, you didn't do what I had hoped you would do. I was hoping you were going to be foolish. Oh, you have been foolish! Very foolish things. In the other one, I think it's broken something as well. Wonderful. Yes, okay, how to confuse the beam police is to sometimes uh, go over bits of scenery that they don't like. That is the goal. There are police cars up there. Now, if I go for a little sneaky plan, uh, up this way, I feel like they... Oh, okay, this is probably not the way to take my car, because I... Uh, uh, please don't break, please don't break, please don't break, please don't break. Uh. Well, the front bumper's come off a little bit. Oh, there's cars there as well. Um, we are not really evading at the moment. Oh, this way. This way. Oh, there's bloody cars right behind us. Well, that's no good. At least... Oh, that's terrible. I actually don't know whether I'm supposed to be following this arrow. Whoa! Oh, no. Oh, no. There was one on the slip road. I don't think it's gone well for the Orange Eye series. It's definitely not gone well. Oh, we're in trouble now. My radiator's gone. We, yeah, this is bad. I've got no... Thank you for the speed boost. I was not fast enough for this. Uh, where are we going? Arrows of mystery. Yep, I want to go off here. Uh, please have an accident. Oh, you have had a big accident. You're going to spin. It's... Oh, and into a tree. Okay, I feel better about that. <laughs> oh, you've actually set up a roadblock. I'm impressed. Uh, I am impressed with their efforts here. Uh, now, can I goad you into trying to commit to one side? No, you're just going to kind of sit in the middle. Okay, that's fine. I'll go put you around. Uh, we will go this way, and I, I hope all I need to do is get to the finish line, because I'm not sure I'm getting away from you at the moment. doesn't actually really seem to be a way to evade them uh, so far. I presume that'll probably depend or vary on the missions. Uh, you know, some might just be a very... This one does seem more like a get to a destination. I've just done it really badly here. And there's a gear somewhere. Oh, good God. I mean, they've sacrificed a lot of their cars. They have done some very heavy damage to me. Um, yeah, we're not driving this car home easily. I mean, we can drive it home. A little bit, but uh, <laughs> Christ, <laughs> that is a it is a heavily battered car. Uh, oh, I didn't quite get the parking. Oh, so okay, so all right, I figure, okay, get, get get what they're asking for. We've got to stop there without police cars being behind us. Basically, uh, that's fine. I can. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. All the tires have come off. Uh, I'm going down this way. Oh, that's really steep. Oh, and I'm really stuck. <laughs> I think... I think we've failed. I'm not sure 
they have any way... I don't think I'm allowed to node grab. No, I'm not allowed to node grab. Can I go... I can't even go to a free camera, no. I can't free cam and teleport myself. I wondered whether it would. Um... Stalemate, I think. They seem to be stuck on the bridge. And I seem to be stuck under the bridge. So I guess... It's... It's... It's over? Uh, can I... Uh, no, I can only restart the mission. I can't... I can't do it. We... We failed epically. Now, I think... So I'm just gonna say abandon, because we are clearly stuck, or we could restart. Um, oh god, do we... Do we get stuck with our car in the condition? Okay. Now... My car is an absolute write-off from that. Uh, how much money do I have? Not that button. That button. It's got two and a half thousand. I'm actually just curious how much it costs to fix this, having failed that mission quite catastrophically, or whether it gets fixed up on its own. Uh, let's coast our way towards the garage. Hello. Uh, we tried to get away from the police. It did not go very well for a poorly, poorly i-series. Please turn. Please turn. Uh, hello. Do not mind me. I am a bit very broken. I am a bit very broken in here. Uh, oh. And through the buttons, and there we go. Uh, I guess we are... Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's not had a good adventure, that one. Well, it has had, it's had a, an adventure. It's just not gone very well at all here. Uh, okay, so we do have to repair. Um, okay, so... Jeez. Oh, that was very expensive. So, the more you crash... Ah, so it is an interesting way. I like it. I like it. So, ah, so as you get stars, they can be used to save you money. So, repair time instant. Repairing will rise your policy score. Um, so, I guess the higher the policy score, the more expensive repairs get. Uh, standard repair. Uh, ah, so, you can you can pay to get it repaired instantly, and it's quicker. That one there, you can you can pay to get it done without the end of the extras. So, you might have, you have to use these stars. For, that's really that's an inter it's a really interesting way of doing it. I like it. I like it for the for the challenge of it. It makes those police chases a real risk. So if we say do this one here, we can get our car back. Oh, and oh, that's so clever. That's really, I really like the way it does that. Uh, it, it fixes it, but you know, because you could put new panels on it and so on. Oh, that's a fascinating way of doing a career mode thing. I'm impressed, actually. I was a little bit worried about the, the fast travel -y thing. I did did it save? So when we went into the city, I drove up to that one. No, I don't think. So the far... The, I'm sure there is a way to get fast travels going somewhere. Um, and while I wouldn't necessarily want fast travel as a, as a permanent option everywhere, it might feel a little... say a little cheap, but I think some form of fast travelling might be needed um, to... Stop, stop too much frustration and boredom of just going backwards and forwards. Uh, around a map. I will say the details on this are brilliant. The details on this are really, really good. Um, so yeah, I am impressed. I am impressed with the beam. With the, oh, this is the beam career mode. Yeah, something, uh, something different. Something different. Something interesting. I cannot wait to see how this develops. Uh, already, a lot of the little fine details are fascinating to me, and it's something no other games really done. Not, not really like this, anyway. I think maybe Street Legal Racing would probably Street the SLR would be the one I would, in some ways, have it closest to. Um, but yeah, this looks really career mode looks really, really interesting, really, really interesting indeed. But uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.